going on everybody? Dan here from 7th Tower and in today's piece I'm going to be working on something for the band Lethal Injection. I've done artwork for them in the past. I did this really cool zombie marine thing and the guy hit me up uh, for some new stuff. He opted for uh, more of a satanic, satanic evil thing which I really dug since of course I'm doing a lot of this stuff lately and I, since I love the imagery and all that so of course I jumped on the, the chance to, uh, to do it. And this piece has a kind of a lengthy title that I gave it. I don't know. I don't know why I decided to call it this, but um, it's called, or oh, I refer to as Upon the Altar of Sacrifice, All Dreams Come True. And I guess the reason I called it that is kind of, to me, I thought it was kind of funny. Since when you're thinking dreams come true, you're thinking, you know, Disney fucking happy endings and all that stuff. But when you're on a table, slab across a table, with your heart getting cut open and cut out by. Uh, horribly looking satanic priest of sorts and it's not a happy ending for you <laughs> but yeah this piece is fine it took a really 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 long time to do and in total uh, work time it took around seven hours to do well no not really it took like around nine hours nine or ten hours because um, I'm not I wasn't counting the time it took to plan out the drawing itself but Photoshop hours it took around seven or so the reason for that is because, well, it's, it's a larger piece, so I wanted to include a, uh, a lot more detail into it. But there was also a lot of fuck-ups, and I started around 7 a.m. one morning, and then I ended at 6 a.m. the next morning, <laughs> the next day. So um, those those hours were spread across the entire day, but um, like I took a nap for a few hours, took a, breaks every, took a couple breaks every now and then still rest up and stuff but I wanted to finish it in one day and also there was a lot of um, mess ups like I was do working on the pentagram a candlestick holder thing and I lowered the opacity of the image and what I did was I flattened the the pentagram onto the lowered opacity image and I was working on the pentagram and I forgot that I did that or I wasn't aware that I did that and when I tried to raise the opacity I couldn't anymore and I was too far forward in history to go back so um, and I didn't save it like I no don't normally do which is a horrible habit you guys should always save your work when you're working I, I don't know why I don't I, I try to I try to do it but I always always forget but make sure you save your work um, yeah so I had to do the wood green all over again you, you saw the wood green kind of appear and then I had to you saw me do it all over again. And that took a, like an hour or so to do just to, the wood grain alone because I just wanted to make it really cool and really detailed. And stuff like that. I mean, there was a lot of mess ups, like the border around the image. I did a version and I was like, nah, it took a while to do two. I was like, no, nah, I don't like this one. So I wide it all out and tried another one. It took uh, about the same equal amount of time to do. Uh, but it was really fun, please. Even though it took the amount of time it did, I really enjoyed doing it. It came out came out really well. It was really worth the effort, so no complaints here. Yep, so not much else to say about this piece. So I guess I'll shut up now. I hope you guys like the artwork and hope you guys like the video. Check out the links in the description to see where you can find my other work and I'll see you guys around.